Five BJ's in the airplane bathroom later, I'm here. And that's where we're here. We're here to dominate. We're here to break down the who they call the goat. You know, what, goat's such a chody name in my mind. Um, you know, but I'm the bear. I'm gonna fucking crawl. I'm gonna get, get in your honey and then I'm gonna claw your face off. Yeah, all right, man. More feeling, buddy. Friday night, I just got off work. My boss, man, he's such a jerk. So after work, I went to his house. I ate his wife's pussy. Eating pussy and kicking ass. Eating pussy and kicking ass. All the different types of way you can show speed, I show the speed. And that's why you get a call like, oh, hey, we'll pay you. We'll pay you a million dollars to come down there and race your event. And I'm like, fuck, like, another million dollar call. Like, okay, whatever. And then he's like, but you don't understand, we're Australian. We like to get down, we like to party like you. So I Googled and I YouTubed Australian lifestyle and man, it was, I liked it. I said, okay, I'm gonna come down there. They got a lot of things figured out, but I'm gonna teach them patriotism. You know, I'm not asking them to love America. I'm asking them to love their own country. Be proud of it. You know, right now in America, it's, it's the fucking shame. American football, which is the real football where you throw the ball and not kick it, fucking idiots. And, um, you know, they're kneeling during our national anthem. Makes me fucking sick. I'd rather stick a goddamn pin in my eye than see that shit. You know, I want to I want to sp spread worldwide awareness on patriotism, and um, let these fans know they need to be proud of their Australian country, just like I'm proud of my American country, where I come from, best country in the world. I'm sorry, you know, you guys can have the second best. I guess that's cool. I mean, it's kind of like fucking kissing your sister, you know, especially if she's hot. But anyways, you guys are in for a little treat from Ron this weekend. Couldn't get a passport for my old wild horse back home. They were like, we don't want, we can't travel this bike. So I left her at home, not a big deal. Found me in 1998 down here, so I got like the Aussie version of the Screaming Eagle, which is like the kicking kangaroo or something. And um, it's down here, and I was kind of feeling her out today on press day, and I could tell she was gun shy, she was scared, you know? She was just, not wanting to really gel and um you know i had a long talk with her after the ride and i said hey look we got to do this thing like you're gonna have to respect me i'm gonna respect you i ain't gonna rev the titties off you you know i'll save that for later let's go get the job done take down this goat fucker
tell us what happened? Where did you go wrong? Here's the thing, you know, I was out there, I proved my outright speed, I tracked him down, you know, he's out here practicing the track for days, I'm out here just trying to get my drink on, I'm horny, that probably didn't help either, what happens when my horniness goes through the roof, I end up going blind too, and I can't see the track, and once I saw that victory in sight, I just lost all my vision, and I couldn't even see him coming out of the peripheral, out of my, on my left eye, you know, and he, he just got me. And we uh, launched her into the camera station, and you know what people didn't see after that. You know, a security guard tackled me when I met up with him on the outside, and I beat the shit out of him. And um, you know, he was crying like Ronnie, Ronnie, please have mercy. And I was like, all right, man, I'm not gonna kill you. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little goose egg. That's about it. Last round of riding, I got the best whip, and I'm thirsty. Only one place to go. This guy's here. I like Ronnie's style. I like I like Ronnie's style. It's good. You know what? Uh, it's going to be good. The fans are going to have a good time. I'm a little nervous, if I'm being honest. You know what That's I mean? Right. I'm, I'm a little. I'm, I ain't, hey, I ain't gonna You're lie, a little pepper dude. Shy right I, now. I am. I think. Hey, I'm not sleeping on Ron's skills. Let's put it that way. Mm. Right? You know what? The only thing you don't got going for you is you used to ride red and get head, and now you on bananas. Yeah, and that's I know. What, that's they're slippery you though. There you go. Wet, wetter's there better. You go. Keep right? It, keep it tight. I'm on the banana. So was it really just a case of was Reed was out and it was like they just like fucking boom, obvious, obvious? No, 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 no. They'd already told Reed before the event to go fuck off. They just kind of spun that to make him feel good and then he faked an ankle injury. So he's like, oh yeah, I broke my foot. That's why they didn't want me to come. They told him to go fuck off. They like, Ron's on top. That's what they said, hashtag that shit. Ron never pulls out, let's bring him down. We know that. So that's what ended up happening. Reed likes to tell his stories or whatever, but that's not what